Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about the experimental leader and it sounds like a really interesting topic that we have today. Welcome to Invincible Innovation Live Show. I'm so glad that you're here. I'm Adina Zorkario, Product Innovation and Value Creation Expert and I'll be your host. And before I invite our guest, I want to tell you that this is the 100th episode, which is very, very, you know, I'm so happy with it and very excited. So I'm very happy to have Melanie Parrish with me. Hi, Melanie. Hey, congratulations on 100 episodes. I think it's yeah. such a noteworthy accomplishment. Oh, thank you. I, I just noticed it like a few days ago and I said, wow, I'm so happy. So Melanie is a master certified coach, a speaker and author of the book, The Experiment's Leader. And I, in the beginning, I feel that we have such a good energy. So now it's like a good start to where we are. We're live on LinkedIn, YouTube and Facebook and you're so invited to join the discussion and ask questions. And now we can start. Well, so I, I have a question. Sure. What does it mean to you to have 100 episodes? Um, the first thing that comes to my mind is that I'm a very stubborn person. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like a few years back when I was about, you know, 20 and I went to my mother and I wanted to hear about my childhood. And she would say that I'm so cute. And I was like, you know, the, the cutest girl ever. And I came to her and I said, tell me, mother, how was I as a kid? And she looked at me and said, you are stubborn. <laughs> so I, it seems that she was right. It's, it's something that is very prominent in my character. I am stubborn. <laughs> so that's what comes to my mind. And um, we're live on LinkedIn, YouTube, and Facebook. We said that, and now we can start the conversation. What is the most important skill leaders should master in order to be successful? And I think there is a, a previous question, which is how do you see success before we say saying what is being successful? Yeah, I I think it's I think it's a really great question, and um, and I I think that success isn't always, I think, and, and we can also look at what's leadership. Like, you know, there's all these questions, you know, um, yeah. my husband and I were actually talking about, um, you know, people in elementary school and sometimes they get identified as leaders when they're like in grade three or something. And, yeah. and really we were talking about, they're not really doing leadership. They're not leading anyone, number one. And really what they're seeing is they're, you know, gregarious, like they talk a lot or, um, or they boss people around a lot or um, they have good ideas, but they're not actually demonstrating leadership. And, and so when we do that, we, we, um, when we identify people with those skills, we may actually be identifying skills that aren't the best leadership skills. So we right. end up with people who are, um, think that leadership is about being bossy or dominant. Um, yeah. and, and the longer that I think about leadership success, the less I think that leadership is about being bossy or dominant. Um, and the more I think it's about vision or uh, having, um, especially when we think about innovation and leadership, because leading an accounting firm where you do the same thing day in and day out may be all about best practices, but when you're thinking about leading innovation, it's a really different equation. You're trying to do something every day that nobody's ever done before. And it's a really mm -hmm. different skill set to help foster. Uh, it, it's like working on the frontier every day. You know, it's like going into yeah. the unknown every single day. And I think that that's the, the skills that you need to go into the unknown are um, a certain amount of bravery, a certain amount of measurement uh, so that you know when you're trying something and it's not working, a certain number, a, a certain amount of collaboration and ability to accept feedback, to gather feedback, um, to uh, hold people accountable not so much in a heavy handed way, but in a curious way, like, hey, you said you were going to do this. What'd you learn? So sort of in a continuous improvement sort of way. Um, and so there's there's like a, a Eliyahu Goldratt, who was an Israeli physicist. Um, yeah. He talked about management attention 
being one of the biggest bottlenecks in North American leadership management. Um, and I love that because it's like, what do we pay attention to as managers and leaders? Yeah. And you know, it, it reminds me when you're saying that he was an Israeli, most of the words like you have, English is much more richer. It has more words than Hebrew. But we have a word for attention in, in Hebrew and it means where you place your heart. So where, oh. where you place your heart is that's the attention. And when you think about it this way, I think it, it explains what attention is, especially in the context of a relationship or communication, better than, you know, when you're thinking about focus or cognitive ability, actually. Can you say that word? Tzumet Lev. Tzumet is where you place and Lev is heart. Ah. Uh. I love that. And, and um, I think that's really interesting. I think, and I, I learned this concept, I don't know, in 2013, it's been a really long time, almost a decade. And, um, and it's a, it's a concept that never gets old for me. This idea of where you place your attention. It's so powerful as a leader to just ask that one question. Where should I place my attention next? Where's the most important place for me to place my attention next? Because you really can only place your attention one place at a time, um, which is fascinating and also goes yeah. with the whole idea of bottlenecks. And um, there's only one bottleneck. It's also Goldratt's work. And if you haven't read The Goal, for those of you listening, um, that's another gold rat book and it's fiction and it's fun and it's a quick read to, to learn about how to, how to think about bottlenecks. But, um, but th these two concepts together, bottlenecks and attention are fascinating as leaders. And, and if you just want to scale up your leadership, focus on those two topics this year and you will transform your leadership. What's the name of the book? The Goal. Eliyahu Goldratt, The Goal. Gold and it's, it's a great book it's a it's an old 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 book he's he's been gone a long time there's nothing yeah. new fat you know it's nothing new and innovative and it's absolutely innovative and earth-shattering